The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt isn't even out yet, but that hasn't stopped the game from already achieving a sales milestone. Developer CD Projekt Red has announced that there are over 1 million pre-orders for the fantasy RPG. Project Red co-founder Marcin Iwinski said, We would like to thank all the gamers for their trust and support. This is the last stretch and we're pushing hard. Over the last two weeks, we've increased performance on all platforms and started working full speed on the expansions Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine. Wine. Moving on to Bethesda, the Dishonored developer might be prepping a remastered version for release later this year. The Brazilian Advisory Rating System website has listed Dishonored Definitive Edition for 2015, possibly pulling back the curtain on one of the company's big E3 surprises. We'll find out for sure in just 33 days. But that's not the only cat Brazil let out of the bag. The agency also listed Gears of War Ultimate Edition, giving further credence to the rumors that Brink developers Splash Damage and Black Tusk Studios are remastering the shooter. So that's two big remasters that could be heading our way this year. How do we feel about that? Are we excited to revisit Dishonored and Gears of War, or would we rather play more new games? Let us know in the comments below. The road to E3 is like a leaky faucet. There's another leak for Fallout 4. An employee with Guillermo del Toro's production company, Murata Studios, put on his LinkedIn profile that he worked on a Fallout 4 cinematic trailer, meaning an E3 reveal for the post-apocalyptic RPG is looking more and more likely. Just remember, Bethesda, it could be worse. It could be your caterer unveiling the game, like what happened with Tony Hawk 5. Iron sights are out of sight for Star Wars Battlefront. EA DICE executive producer Patrick Bach told official Xbox Magazine, there are no iron sights in Star Wars on the ordinary blasters. You have scopes on some rifles, but there are no iron sights. EA and DICE aren't stopping there with making Star Wars Battlefront stand apart from Battlefield either, as the sci-fi shooter also won't feature squads or classes. Hopefully we'll get a chance to play soon and find out whether or not this is a good thing. And don't forget, tomorrow, Ubisoft will be announcing the next Assassin's Creed game, and I'll be covering all the stealthy, stabby goodness right here on IGN at 8.30 a.m. sharp. I'll bring the coffee. There's a little something for everyone coming out over the next few days, whether you're into RPGs, racing games, Metroidvanias, or twin stick shooters. Here's everything we're excited about that's out this week. Start your consoles as Project Carves arrives on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 this week. We think it's a great racing game that looks good and sounds even better. Return to Spira with the Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remaster on PlayStation 4. Now you can enjoy Titus' awkward laugh with the best visual quality to date. Metroidvania Axiom Verge is making the jump from PlayStation 4 to PC. The 2D side-scroller sports cool weapon variety and fun boss fights. Ultratron, the spiritual successor to Robotron and not the nemesis of the Avengers, is bringing its twin-stick shooter goodness to Wii U, PlayStation 4, PS3, and Vita. I got to level 35 on my first try, so, you know, it's kind of a big deal in Ultratron circles. Mark of the Ninja and Don't Starve developer Clay Entertainment is trying its hand at turn-based stealth with Invisible Ink. Trust me, this one is really, really good. And that's it for your daily fix for May 11th. I'm Damon Hatfield. Remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.